Hello everyone, good afternoon. It is 5 p.m. Oh my god. And I'm having an official tramp day today. I haven't had a shower, I haven't changed out of my... I slept in this t-shirt. I haven't changed, I haven't brushed my teeth. Did I brush my teeth? I brushed my teeth. Um, but I haven't showered and I haven't changed. And right now, I'm about to have lunch. It's pizza, chips and chicken wings. Sorry. It's a tramp day. It's an official tramp day. Oscar has just had his second poo, like, in a row, which was really fun to change. Um, you know when you think you've done it once and you don't have to do it again, and then he just does it straight away, you're like... Anyway. About to eat my pizza, Hilary is at work, she finishes at 6 something, I thought she finished at 4 something, so I thought we were going to be able to go out to the park or something, but no. I did go out with Oscar earlier just to pick up a package from, um from a place nearby where they drop off packages because they're too lazy to come upstairs and just enjoying this time while Oscar's being well behaved hopefully I can get my pizza finished before he starts fussing and then Hillary's gonna be back pretty much and then I don't know what we're doing this evening if we're going out or what who knows I'll find out later not quite sure where the day went but right now me and Oscar are gonna get ready to go out the house now and pick up Hillary from work or on the way from work, I think she's getting a lift halfway or something like that. But anyway, we're gonna do it. Oscar, stop playing with stuff. Let's go. Oscar, ready? Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm <laughs> Interesting. It's my first time coming to the little community square next to the house and the first time seeing people actually using those treadmills. Remember I took a video of those treadmills? There's like an actual line of people waiting to use the treadmill. Who would have thought this is an idea that I could use in the UK? And two observations. The first one, there was a little boy uh, and his bike and he wouldn't pedal. He just relied on his grandma to push him around the little square. So he was sat on the bike like a zombie while being pushed around on the bike by his grandma. He was like frozen on the bike and just being pushed. It made me think, why, why bother? And then there's another one. Oh, you can see it now, it's actually happening live and direct. The girl with the pogo stick. Like, she's jumping while completely 100% being supported by her grandma, which is like, to me, defeating the purpose, right? Mother, you'll see what they're After eating my pizza, I felt guilty, so now I'm on the way to the gym. It is 8.30, I've gone until 10, so get an hour and a half workout, should be alright. Hello everyone, it's the end of the day. It is half past 10, I've just got home, I went to the gym, woohoo, as I've told you already. Um, that made up for what I ate today, so feeling a little better about myself. 
Anyway, I want to talk real quick before the end of the day. Oh, just checking in by the way, just putting this video out there. I want to make a video real quick in response to one I saw by Is Harris and it was about antidepressants. I take antidepressants and I will very likely take them forever. Serotonin reuptake inhibitor. And you start to feel like there is no sunlight around you. So I started you. taking 10 milligrams of Lexapro about three months I will ago. never stop taking this, ever. Now, before I get into it, I'm not an expert on antidepressants. I have no real clue about antidepressants. I don't know anything about, really, I don't really know anything about mental health disorders or mental health in any way, shape or form. But since I have opinions on stuff, I just want to talk about it. So if anyone has any conditions or whatever, don't get offended. I'm not trying to offend anyone. It's just what I'm observing and what I think. Okay, just getting that out of the way because I know that the internet right now is a real sensitive place and I'm not trying to offend anyone. Anyway, that's Hillary cutting her nails in the background that you're hearing. Anyway, um, yeah, so she talked about antidepressants and how she takes them and they make her maintain a level of um, sort of composure, happiness, a mental state that she's satisfied with, able to work and feel good about herself. Here's the thing, this tiny pill, this medication that I take each morning helps me. And also the stigma surrounding talking about taking antidepressants. And you know what wasn't helping me? Shame about taking this tiny pill each morning that helps me. In fact, it was deeply, deeply hindering me. Just wanna put it out there, I am the anti-medicine person. So I'm really not a fan of any kind of medicines, especially long-term stuff. I'm not sure if we have enough knowledge about what it does to our brains and to our bodies. Um, also, I feel like a lot of the medicines are like a patch on a wound and I think it would be better to sort of fix the wound, to heal the wound rather than just, you know, patch over it and pretend it's not there, which is my sort of theory on antidepressants. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure I am. Antidepressants in my eyes are to help people get through sort of a time when they may be feeling down. So, give an example, someone in the family dies, someone very close to you dies, and then suddenly it's doom and gloom, everything feels bad, nothing is going your way, nothing is happy, everything is sad, everything is bad, and it's just like, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then maybe the antidepressants can sort of somehow i mean i'm not sure the science but they somehow blank that stuff out so you don't feel it or you don't think about it or when you think about it the sort of hormones or the emotions don't go as deep as they would have so you're sort of in this mellowed out state of being drugged up <sighs> my god sounds bad um and therefore they work because the result is the person feels okay about a situation. Whatever that situation is, they feel okay about it. But it doesn't really get rid of the problem, does it? The problem is that that, you know, that there's something that's gonna, that's trying to bring this person down. And I think what would be better is to get that out. So maybe instead of antidepressants, psychologists or something like that, that kind of doctor, um, I think would be a better solution and that's what I would prefer than taking medicine uh, because I feel like I think talking about something um, whether it's on YouTube or to someone close or family members or whatever it is talking to someone I think makes me feel better than I imagine any pill would and I feel like talking to people or letting it out is more long term cheaper and natural so I'm not gonna tell anyone not to take antidepressants no way because everyone's got you know everyone's got their own issues but just made me think but I would never stigmatize someone who takes antidepressants I would never think oh that person takes antidepressants oh something bad I just feel like you know it's just a normal person everyone has issues and everyone has different ways of getting over their issues. 
Some people talk about it. Some people forget about it. Some people drink alcohol. Some people smoke weed. Some people take other illegal drugs. Some people go party. Some people go on holiday. Some people drive the car really fast. Some people jump off buildings. Some people hang themselves. Some people slit their wrists, you know. Everyone has their own way of dealing with their problems and I'm not here to judge anyone on how they deal with it. But I just, yeah, just wanted to talk about that, I guess, because I know that there's been times when I felt like really sort of like down, sad, angry, everything all together. And I've never thought about taking any drugs. I've never thought about doing anything really except making videos and complaining about it on YouTube and maybe like going to my room and closing the door and not talking to anyone. That's what I usually do, just stay silent for however long it takes for me to just like get over the issue. Hmm, I don't know. What's your opinion on antidepressants? Um, and also, actually, there's another thing I want to talk about, yeah along with antidepressants. In pop culture, or not pop culture, rap culture now, isn't it antidepressants? A lot of people take antidepressants. Is Xanax antidepressant? Let me just check. I keep hearing this name, Xanax, Xanax, and I'm like, what is Xanax? Let me just check. Is it antidepressants? Anxiety disorders, panic disorders. Hmm, it's not an antidepressant though, is it? Oh, no, Xanax is about anxiety. So it's anti-anxiety. Okay, no, so it's not antidepressant. Anyway, I feel like these antidepressants or like these pills, these sort of prescription medications are being like popularized in music. And uh, that's another thing I just don't get. So anyway, I'm not really gonna talk about antidepressants and all that lot because I don't know what happened there. I gotta go, so I'll see you. Oh, his leg got stuck. Okay, I think he got scared. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Um, subscribe, thumbs up, like, whatever I'm doing, and I'll... Yeah. Stay tuned for more! Goodbye! Here's a noisy baby. Huh? What are you being noisy about, Oscar? Huh? Say hi! Hello, everyone! Bye, everyone! Ah. <laughs> he just wants to touch the camera. No! <sighs> yeah, bye! Say bye! Okay, hit me in the face. All right, bye.